kids and parents, are you ready to defy gravity? Well, our friends at Mad Science are going to show us how it's possible. We welcome back Atomic Allen. Good morning. Good morning, Michaela. How are you this morning? I'm great. Hey, I'm excited for this one. Defying gravity. How do we do it? Well, let's see. Airplanes do it all the time. Blimps and hot air balloons do it. They just float up into the sky. So think of this as a hot air balloon. It just floats up and it just floats up into that darn gravity. Yeah, but with an it right airplane, down. Well, with an airplane, the air's moving. And as the air moves past the ball, it has to speed up. That creates low pressure and it picks the ball up. I can show you that. So if you have a ping pong ball at home, mm -hmm. maybe a straw, preferably a bendy straw, you can do this yourself. Wow, look at that. You can balance it, but it looks like you're running out of air. I am running out of air. I need electric lungs. Do you have oh. those? I have a hair dryer. Perfect. Maybe that'll work. Wow. Just balance the ping pong ball right over the hair dryer. Get the balance just right. Oh, he's even going to try two. That is impressive. You can even do this with a much bigger ball. Here I've got a beach ball, and I and I can. Hmm. Michaela, I need a bigger hair dryer. Oh gosh. So I have here a much bigger hair dryer. Yep, I'd say. I think my ceiling's too low, though. So what I did is because the ceiling's so low is I went out into the garage earlier today and as you can see what I did now is I used my leaf blower and my beach ball to float the ball and you can see that it floats pretty well on that yeah. column of air. I can even move back and forth and the ball stays in the column of air. That is so impressive. So if kids want to try this at home they can. They sure can. All they need is a ping pong ball and a straw, or maybe a hair dryer, or if they have a beach ball and a leaf blower and a grown up, right. they can try the big version. Well, isn't that great? We always have so much fun with you guys. How can we get in touch with you if we want to try more experiments? You can find us on the internet at southernmass.madscience.org. And we do all kinds of programs. We do virtual programs. All of our virtual programs even have some sort of an at-home activity because kids learn by doing stuff. Certainly. Well, we're happy to bring the fun to our, our families in Rhode Island and Southern New England and Massachusetts, of course. Uh, thanks so much for joining us once again. And we're going to post your information up on roadshow.com. And hey, if you try any of these experiments, we want to see them. Share your fun with us.